lesson 1.4. Now, this lesson is going to be talking about evaluating square roots and cubic roots. All right. So, section 1.4 and 1.5 is going to they are going to be related. So, probably we're going to combine them together. And now let's go ahead and and give you an, a, a glance of what what we're going to be doing. So, for example, example number one talks about evaluating cube roots and to solve problems. So what's a cube root, first of all? A cube root, I mean, if you have, I'm sure you noticed before that if you have a power of a three, that means, you know, this number, uh, let's say a number has been raised to a power of three. What does it mean in general? So you can see that, for example, a six to the power of three, forget about the, 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 the cubic root. Look at this one here. If you see that a six to the power of three means what? means that this 6 is going to be multiplied by itself three times. So 6 times 6 times 6. This is, it, it will reduce a lot of space, a lot of time to write. Imagine if you want to write uh, 6 multiplied by itself 100 times. So you cannot afford to do 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. So you could just write 6 to the power of 8, 100, for example, and you'll get, you'll get the same result. I'm not sure uh, any calculator will do that, but, you know, uh, that's, that's the whole idea, right? So what's... This is the when you raise something to the power. I mean, raising it to the power will do this in 1.6, I think. So in, in uh, section 1.6, we'll talk about um, rules for uh, exponents and powers. So cubic root, for example, of a 216. So this is how we write the cubic root. So we say, well, this is a 3 here. That, uh, that will identify that this is a cubic root. So 216, the cubic root of it is actually 6. So what does it mean? That means if I take 6 and I multiply it by itself 3 times, I'll get 216. So it's like a, an inverse of what we do, you know. So cubic root is an inverse actually of the, the, the exponent. So now, here's the same thing. There's an example that you want to try. For example, what's a cubic root of 64? What's that number? If I multiply it by itself 3 times, I'll get a 64. That's how you, this is how you read it. So if I have a number that I multiply by itself three times, I get 64, that will be my answer. Okay, so this is, I'll leave it for you to do. Okay, so there's no answer here. So you, you could do it on your own uh, when you when you uh, listen to this video and you'll, you'll um, have fun with it. Actually. So I don't want to show you this because the answer is here. <laughs> so now uh, the same thing goes with the next section. The next section will be also about solving uh, equation using square roots and cubic roots all right so now square roots you are familiar with it more often that you've been using square root notice that square root the same thing so if you raise a number to a power of two that means this number is going to be multiplied by itself twice to get this up so notice that the, the square root of a 25 notice we don't write two here we don't need to write the two here right so just a square root of 25, that's automatically by default means, you know, you're taking the square root of 25, okay, which is 5. In this case, the one we're going to be talking about plus or minuses, okay? So in class, we'll explain it more, more in more details. Okay, the last section is going to be about the exponents. Remember, I mentioned that uh, section 1.6. Use the property of integer exponents. So there's a lot. There's a properties that we're going to be using: addition, subtraction, and um, multiplication, and all that. So it's something we're going to have something called power, uh, product of powers of property, um, uh, power to a power. Uh, all this we're going to be doing in class also, and also we could divide them. We could see that how we're going to be doing. This is will take us a couple of more days because we need more practice. Okay, so that's it. Talk to you later. Bye bye.